Um, hi, it's uh, John Wanoa here. It's uh, Sunday the 15th of April 2012. I'm just on top of uh, Maung KK uh, Hill above Auckland City and uh, just going to give a, a, a small commentary on Kafaru the Giant of Waikato. Uh, we just did a video today of um, his history and uh, the connection uh, to the mana whenua of this hill. Uh, at the time of the Confederation, the flag we have flying here today, uh, late in the afternoon, I uh, um, had uh, the uh, um, Ratana ministers on this hill to unveil this plaque you're seeing now. And we, uh, we, uh, we have put it into the history. It will be brought back up here and uh, put back in its place at such a time when they are, uh, are ready and the titles are, are yet to be known. So I just wanted to just show you and uh, extend um, um, this um, um, piece of uh, video uh, to our collection of uh, historic ancestral inheritance history of the Manukau tribesmen of uh, Auckland. Uh, the first titles to Scotland, to the uh, uh, real estate company there uh, called uh, the Manukau Land Company that I'm doing the titles here of this country and uh, connected to uh, uh, Kafaru the Giant of Waikato. Aotea, uh, these lands, the, the Mana Whenua is connected to Tahiri through Raiatea uh, and also to Rapa Nui, uh, to Mokonui on the East Cape and to uh, uh, this title here of Connected Up. You can see it on Facebook and just type John Wanawa in there and you will see all the history uh, dating right back to 1835 of this flag, the Confederation flag, you see flying here today. And so uh, uh, that's linked at the time of Kafaru the Giant of uh, Waikara um, uh, when they uh, presented this flag on the land uh, from King William IV, uh, from Westminster Parliament uh, in England. Now, I just wanted to just show an outline of Auckland, the super city area on the, this uh, Manukau land uh, title claim uh, linked to uh, Aotea. And I'll just go right around and just show you 360 degree view of uh, Auckland, that's 360 from here, and uh, back to this um, particular site of Maunga Keke. Now, we're just um, um, approaching the crown uh, to put the history right of the titles uh, to uh, um, this land here in Auckland, and also the um, connections to the Tupunas, Rewharepa Manuka. Um, we were registering the title interest against the uh, titles that are in land information. And so we'll follow that up as we get closer to the time when we, uh, we go to the UN with this flag. It's already there now with the Maori Confederation from Titi Marae Waitangi. Uh, to uh, all the lands in New Zealand, straight to uh, from the Hapu, the Confederation, the Maori government, straight to um, the government of England and Westminster Parliament. So I just let you see this flag flying. That is the jurisdiction and constitution of this country that we are putting into place again, uh, and um, uh, to uh, let the Crown know the existing titles to this country is here, right here in that flag there. And Prince William, he's the namesake of King William IV uh, at that time, that Kafaru the Giant on this plaque um, was the chief at that time um, of the wars. So I'll just let you know um, that we will just bring this back up to date uh, with the history and uh, make people aware in this country and also in England that we are pursuing our Maui um, title and also the, uh, the Maori title to these lands. And so I just wanted to let you uh, see this today uh, as we put this 
uh, history together uh, in today's times uh, before we go to the UN uh, to claim the title with the Confederation and the Maori government. And uh, from Titi Marae, Kingi Taurua, he's the uh, chief there on the Marae up in Waitangi, Fair Islands. That's the authority from here on <coughs> to England and with Sue Nakora, the mandated uh, representative of the Confederation. I'm the uh, um, legal advocate uh, for Kingi Taurua, chief, and also for Sue Nakora, Ngāti Pro, uh, and Ua Potu. Um, Hapu. And um, so that's that's basically what I wanted to do today. Let's see the flag flying. That's it there. The 1835 Declaration of Independence flag flying on Mangakekea Hill, Montre Hill, the Auckland Super City boundary area of this country. Auckland City was um, founded by the Manukau tribesmen from Cornwallis, that's over the other side there, Cornwallis, that's where the British first came in and landed in the Manukau Harbour, and also the Tainui Wakas landed inside the Manukau Harbour. The Manukau, that means, was there already. So, just a, a little history. As for myself, uh, John Wanoa, I just want to let you know that I'm here for the uh, Moai uh, statue, uh, Mana Henua from Rapa Nui, East Island. Uh, sitting up in uh, the museum, Auckland Museum. That's our uh, connection to uh, Pito Te Henua Island, East Island. Uh, and to Rapa Nui, uh, Raiatea, connections to the East Coast, to Te Pito, um, on Maragano Land Rocks. One or uh, uh, the spirit people to uh, East Island, and uh, I'll just uh, let you know that's the founding of the Pacific Islands, the Pacific oh, oh, Island boundary area, and inside of that boundary area, a third of the globe, then you have New Zealand, the Ngātua Ewa title, uh, that's um, so uh, the rest of the world, Moai, is uh, commanding over, is standing in Queen uh, Elizabeth's uh, second great court uh, in London. And that's our, our, um, our superior title over the whole world, over New Zealand, over the Pacific, uh, that we uh, claiming today. The Moai Crown Sovereign State of Ngātue Wā Aotea News. So thank you very much uh, today. Catch up with you later.